Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in. Uh, welcome to today's post lesson review. Today's clip uh, is inspired by two uh, singers that I was working with last week, two totally different singers, two do totally different um, issues to work with in their songs, but the same solution to each one. So I thought we'd join them together and present them to you today. And today's session is called Attitude is Everything. The first singer that I was working with was a rock singer. Um, good, strong voice, um, working professionally, but uh, I have a feeling he's probably a part-time accountant or something. Uh, he likes his songs and dynamics built in a, uh, a kind of a, uh, almost like Lego blocks. He, he wants his dynamics set out in, uh, in numbers, like the verses should be a sort of a number three strength and the chorus should be a kind of a number five strength and in the bridge maybe we'll drop it back to two and he seemed to relate to that better than anything else. We built the song that way and it was easy and it was fine, he performed it well. But I then put to him that it would be better to build it from the attitude you approach the song with. Now as long as, that, that attitude works, as long as your foundation practice, method, strength, stamina, all the things that come from uh, regular technique, as long as they're in place, then the attitude thing works really well. You need to look at the song and feel it. Look at the content. Is it an angry song? Is it a lamenting song? What is it? What attitude is the music around you creating? And so if you need it to be aggressive in perhaps the chorus section there. The volumes and dynamics should be self-fulfilling, they should happen with your attitude, again as long as your foundation technique is always well in place. So we put that to him and he's gone away to work with that now and I suspect we'll come back with a much better um, effect next week. And not as much thought required. You don't have to think about, oh, I need to be loud here. Oh, I need to be soft here. Oh, I need... It's all determined by the attitude you approach the song with. So understand your song and then it will work. So that was our rock singer. The very next session was with one of my jazz singers. She's a beautiful singer. Um, we were working on a, uh, a Melody Gardot song. Uh, that's a singer worth a listen if you uh, have a few moments. She's, she's good. Um, we're working a song called, a blues, called Worrisome Heart. Now, this Worrisome Heart has like a 40 second intro, I forget how many bars, but a very long introduction. And I knew the moment we started playing that this song wasn't going to be her best performance. Because she was shuffling, she was looking out the window, she was, she was going, ah, oh, this is a very long introduction, I'll get into the song when it starts. Wrong. It's a blues song. You need to wrap yourself in that that blanket that is um, uh, that all-encompassing blues feel. So you would use that 40 seconds. She saw it as a very long intro to get through. I see it as an introduction which gives you time to find yourself within the mood of the song. So that the moment you start ploughing yourself into it, it's right the moment you start. There's no, oh, she'll be, she'll be right within a verse or so. You need, take that 40 seconds, if you've got the chance, take it and envelop yourself in it. Create it, the mood before you start and then launch into the song. Always try and go at your songs in a global manner. Look at it and go, what does this song require? Um, what style is it? What type of um, orchestration is with it? What is the message in it? I am the artist. This is my canvas. What does it need from me? Attitude. Attitude is everything. That's enough for today. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon. Bye.